Hello, I'm Natalie Dupree, here for postandcourier.com, with popovers. They're good all year long, on into the hot days when you can put a salad in them or you can eat them by themselves. And the cold days, you can put any kind of little stew or soup in there, a stew in there that you want to stretch a little. So uh, I'm going to, while this is hot, I'm going to put my batter in there. This is the large one. I just want you to hear a little sizzle and see how far I fill it, which is about halfway full. And it depends on your popover pan. If you have the time, uh, what I'd like you to do is to cook just one and see how everything goes because our ovens are so variable. Now, to make the batter, I have flour and I really think that it's important to have bread flour. So get yourself bread flour, some eggs, and you have the correct recipe, the whole recipe in the newspaper and online at postandcourier.com. Here's your eggs. I'm going to whisk them with a little milk. And you want to give them a good whisk, you know, they, they need to be happy. And then you add part milk, part water to your batter and then mix it with your flour. Now the important thing is to let it sit an hour. And I know that's hard. You can even do it overnight if you'd like to. But then do bring it back to room temperature before you get started. Then pour it in, as you saw me do. Let me get all this mess out of here, it bothers me. And then cook them, depending on the size of your pans, about an hour on a very high heat. But if you can do a test one, then you will find out that you might have to adjust your timing. Now, um, they should come right out when they're hot. Um, they've gotten a little cold now, but here we are and then put them on when they're still piping hot into your basket and serve them. Do not worry if your popovers are not perfect. Popovers don't have to be perfect. They just have to taste good and be full. Be sure to cook them enough. No white should be on the sides of the popovers. No, no white, like, hmm, like in here. It should be all browner than that. And you want to cook them through. You can even poke one and see if it's still battery. If you have too high a heat in your oven, then turn it down or even turn it off and leave the popovers there just a little bit. I'm Natalie Dupree here for postandcourier.com with wonderful, yummy popovers.